Oh, this is where. Wait, so I can say I'd light it. Oh, never mind. Whoosh! Da da da! What the fuck? Should report to Shagraf that I've lit the great torch as they requested. Oh, there he is. Hello. Aren't you off to a good start? That's important for me. Really, your work is going to save me a lot of time. That's good. Save you time. The Grey March is upon us, and the ordering begins. Armies of order sweep my realm. Death, destruction. Then I have to pick up the pieces. <laughs> and there are always lots of pieces. Of course. I don't like it. Having to rebuild my realm every era. Sometimes I forget where things go. Like New Sheath. I can never remember where it belongs. <laughs> You'll change that. Break the cycle. You'll stop Jigalag. And I'll have my realm to come back to. I've never actually tried that before. I can stop the Grey March? Why not? Something has to work. Once, I dug a pit and filled it with clouds. Or was it clowns? It doesn't matter, it didn't slow him down. To be honest, it wasn't the best idea. And it really began to smell. <laughs> <gasps> Must have been clowns. Clouds don't smell bad. They taste of butter. And tears. And but tears. This is all new. A fresh idea. Something I hadn't thought of. Until I did. It sure to work. Even though it might not. What now? Now? You'll need the respect of my citizens. They'll need a leader. Someone to look up to when I'm gone. They're the backbone of any great land. Except where the backbone is an actual backbone. Ever been to Malakath's realm? Oh, nasty. Malakath. But back to the business at hand. That's not the uh, orc, is he? control one of the carts of madness. Replace a current duke. Or duchess, whichever, that will command respect. The people will rally around you. You'll have their love, their admiration, their complaints, whatever, as long as it keeps them on our side. Okay. Won't the dukes be displeased? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Absolutely not. Well, yes, absolutely. Bit of a shame for them. Mm. But sometimes, you need to break a few eggs, or skulls. There are rules though, even in the Isles. Rituals and rules, you need to follow them. Okay. Speak to Artis and Dervenin, the High Priest at the Sasellum Arden Sul. They can explain what needs to be done. Cool. And you've always got our man Haskell to call on for help. Faithful, like a good hound, that one. And... He looks better in a suit. Okay. It seems like they've been here forever. And now this? I'm disappointed in your choice. Why you would choose to honor the fetid madness of Dementia is beyond my understanding. It's not Dementia, it's Dementia. Replacing a duke. Yes. How we would all aspire to be as great a leader as the first. Our savior, Arden Sul. The greatest Duke of the Ages. We celebrate him with the ritual of accession. The path to maniac bliss. Hmm. Ritual of accession. An important part of our history, my friend. I would be glad to tell the tale if you have a moment. Tell me what to do. Certainly. When the ruler of mania has decided it is time, he will choose a successor from his court. The successor is invited to a huge celebration, a night of hedonistic revelry, wine, song, and of course, green moat. During this, the exiting regent imbibes three doses of the potent drug. This causes his heart to burst, and Jesus. his lifeblood flows from his body. The successor then gathers the drug-tainted blood and brings it to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sasellum. Once this is done, I will proclaim the successor a duke or duchess. Then 
Sheagorath gives his blessing, and the cycle is completed. Cool. Seems good. Holy crap, I am not reading all that. We know what just happened. Do I have to talk to the other guy? Should now speak, for fuck's sake. I don't care about dementias. The great torch flares with the light of dementia. All Whatever. Here, take this. Oh, cool. We've got the raiment of intrigue. Seldom is the subject ever... Br Wait a moment. Did you want to hear the history of the ritual? Not really. Tell me what to do. Very well. Spoken like a true son of the demented. To become the ruler of dementia, the current leader's heart must be cut out and brought to the altar of Arden Sul in the Sacellum. Once this is done, I can pronounce the heart bearer a duke or duchess. Then, all that is required is the blessing of our lord, Sheogora. Okay. I'm doing mania, because I, I believe it's easier. Can you stop fucking clapping? What the balls? You're back! How nice for you! Does that mean you've made a decision? Or are you lost? Suicidal? Just let me know. Damn. Uh, decision. A friendly word of warning before you choose. Once you've decided which duke to replace, there's no turning back. One choice. No more. No less. Try not to do something stupid. So which is it? What will it be? Mania? Dementia? The suspense is killing me! Or you, if I have to keep waiting. <laughs> I choose Thaden. A safer choice, perhaps. Maybe you'll live through this. Thaden's a bit lost these days. Not that it's a bad thing, it suits him. <laughs> Until now. Besides, won't it be a grand surprise when you make his heart burst from too much green moat? Satan loves surprises. <laughs> Shut up. Should we begin asking around new Sheoth? Oh, okay. I'll ask around Bliss, seeing as that's his realm. <laughs> Ugh, hiccups. Hmm. I need to talk to actual people. Will the guards work? Speak quickly. No. You do not work. Wonder. You. Hello. Don't mind me. What? Don't you know? Why did you sleep outside? Well, there's an idea. I've seen some people sleeping out on the street, but they huddle too close to the walls. There are walls and statues and all sorts of things that can fall on me. But if you find me a good place to sleep, a safe place outside, I'll reward you. That giant torch is on fire. Falling awake. Sleep outside. Oh, don't tease me. It's serious. I could die. Oh, here we go. If I were you, I'd check with Thaden's steward, Wida. You can usually find her roaming around New Sheoth, or spending a lot of time on the palace grounds. Let's have a look at what this other quest is. Oh, this will be an easy one, hopefully. Oh, do they sleep up there? What the fuck? Oh. They do. Every time I see the torch shining with the flame of dementia, I blame you. I don't care. It's just one more way they try to get me to get all special in the head. Right? Make me sleep outside and everything. I don't belong here, really. What I would do for a warm bed. Soon I'll be leaving here. As soon as I can figure out how to leave without them noticing. Switch beds. Well, it sounds fishy. 
but I suppose I can trust you. I'm sure I'll regret this later, but... Yeah. Sure. Fine. I'm tired of sleeping outside. Tell him I'll sleep in his bed, and he can sleep in mine. That was easy. See you. Ouch. What the fuck? Have your family a safe place outside to sleep yet? Sleep outside. You found a place for me to sleep? Outside under the stars, too small to fall and hurt me? Excellent. Excellent. Tell me more. Really? And it's a safe place? Not at the bottom of a tall wall? Oh, that's a great idea. That sounds perfect. Well, I guess if he's not afraid of the walls falling on him, he won't care when they do. Can't save everyone, can we? And about my reward? Oh yes, my pardons. But what can I give you? Mm. Oh here, take this scroll. I was going to use it when the walls fell on me and I got trapped. But now I don't need it anymore. Is it telekinesis spell or something? See you later. Burst of might. Okay, so... His steward. What the fuck? I'm curious as to where the hell this is pointing me. Hello. Oh, right. No. Ugh. And I'm not overly fond of the Golden Saints, but they stand together in harmony. Speak, citizen. Speak, citizen. Fuck off. Wide Eye. I don't know why, but Wide Eye sounds like an Argonian name. Just with them being lizards, and they have fairly wide eyes. Could be an elf. I don't know. Ah, uh, what was the archer called? Wasn't there an archer called something similar to Wide Eye? I could be thinking of something else. I don't really know. Oh, it is an Argonian. Figured. It was much. How can I help you this fine day? Thaden. Such a kind and noble man. In times like these, it's good to have a leader who still enjoys all the modern pleasures Mania has to offer. Pleasures? Well, yes. Apart from enjoying his painting, reading a good book, or a rousing night of erotic bedroom games. I'm speaking of Greenmoat, of course. There is no greater pleasure. If I didn't have such a busy daily routine, I'd likely indulge myself in its pleasures more often. Hmm. Daily routine. Very well. I see little harm in telling you. After a bit of reading in the garden and running my special errand at noon, I like to shop at Books of Bliss. Around 8 p.m. we are serving dinner. Gondlar is quite a chef and prepares Thaden's meals personally, adding just a hint of green moat. After that, we dance, we sing, or we do whatever else suits my lord's tastes. Green moat. Green moat is the refined version of the spores that are harvested from the spore trees that dot mania. We keep the green moat safely tucked inside the green moat silo. You can imagine the ruckus if its location was known. Only a select few, such as myself, know the silo's location. However, we are sworn to secrecy. Can you tell me? There isn't enough gold or enough jokes in the world that would con- Fine, bitch. She was a special errand at noon, so... I don't actually need to follow her, I can just wait until noon. And then see where the hell she ends up. Well, she's not here. Dawn Fang! Welcome back. What the hell?
No, oh, she's reading. Oh, yeah, he is painting. How lovely. Do, 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 do. Oh, she's on the move. 